Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Video bandwidth for the Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Audio bandwidth for the Gizwiz is provided by the new Winamp for Android, featuring wireless sync and one click iTunes import. Now with free daily music downloads and full length CD listening parties. Download it free at winamp.com slash Android. It's time for the Gizwiz with Mad Magazine's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1384, recorded October 2nd, 2012. The Ostrich Pillow. The Gizwiz Show is brought to you by Audible.com. To download the free audiobook of your choice, visit audible.com slash gizwiz. And now, get ready for Dick. All right, well, I am queued up and ready. Well, if you're queued up and ready, Dickie D, are you ready? I am queued up and ready. Red leader, red leader, are you ready? Then let's begin the program. It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and Leo Laporte on Twit TV. It's time for the Gizmos because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and yellow. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Oh, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Gizwiz Show. With the star of our show, ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Ricardo Di Bartolo, Dickie D. Well, how you doing, buddy? Great to see you. The same. I'm here. I'm thrilled. I look forward to whatever crap you got from <laughs> Skymore. I have under my desk here, and I don't, I don't, I can't yes. believe it. A huge number of things that suddenly arrived after last week's show. So I am yeah. ready. I am. Re- I could. Re- I could review. I've got toilet seats. I've got union suits. I've got back massages. I got stuff I didn't even know I was going to get. Wow! This is it. It all spells high class. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, toilet seats, baby. union suits. <laughs> <laughs> this. We're going to rename this show. How did Max Leo's credit card? Is what the okay. name of the show is, yeah. yeah. But we start with the stuff that you review, and I know you have some great gadgets for us. Why don't you uh, kick I, things I, off? I, I do. Okay, so I was at an event this week called Time to Play. It's a little event that they have right before Christmas. And I met two brothers you know. Greg and Evan? Ring a bell at all? <laughs> oh, brothers Greg and Evan. Okay. Spiridellis? <laughs> Did they say I knew them or did I say oh, I knew Leo, them? Oh, Leo, they were so impressed with you. Okay. <laughs> they invented, and they started in Brooklyn, and yeah. they invented and created Jib Jab. Oh, of course I know them. Okay. Oh, they're great. No, we interviewed them, but you got to understand, that was on the screensavers on Tech TV in like 2002. Jib Jab was Yes, exactly. Great. It, probably even, uh, let's see, it's 13 years old. There it old. is. One of the yeah. one of the early fun websites. Uh, in fact, then they later they later did the dance off thing where you could add people to you know dances and stuff. This is a great. These are guys who are still around. It's so great. I love them. Yeah, and uh, there are a couple of videos of you and I doing stuff that yes. people have uh, sent in many times. And, uh, yeah, and, and when I mentioned, uh, I said, you know, I work with Leo Laporte. They said, oh, he was one of the very first people to ever interview us. So, um, um, so I asked, what, what, what are you guys doing at Time to Play? And they said, well, Jib Jab is now 13 years old. Uh, we're both parents. One of them has, Greg has three kids. Mm. Evan has two kids. And they said, we, we decided we would try to do something for kids. So that would be fun, a bit of learning involved, but that would use the Jib Jab technology. Oh, that's neat. So, yeah, so they introduced uh, some characters called Story Bots, and there are Story Bot videos and Story Bot movies and little learning things. And uh, and Greg said we're also coming up with ones that will keep a kid entertained for twenty minutes because that's how long it takes for me to take a shower and shave. <laughs> so, he said, he said, so not to feel guilty, he said the great thing about kids is. 
repetition is fine with them. Oh, they don't mind if, seeing it over and over. Otherwise, no, no. Annoying Orange wouldn't even exist. Yeah, That's why the said, YouTube views go into 5 million, because yes. it's 12 kids who just keep watching it over and over <laughs> and over again. Exactly. So they started Story Bots, and ah. uh, on their website, they let you uh, do a free Story Bot, which I did, and I think Jason uh, has it for... Uh, Give you a little view. Of oh, what there it, looks it is. Like. is. Are you in? The, oh, look, there he is, Dickie D, playing the banjo. He's got a strange gleam in your eye, Ricardo. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O. You have such a good memory. Well, I I know all these letters. I don't, I don't, this would I be got... great because if your kid does this and you show up in it. Or their best friend, or them, actually. Or be them, better. yes. Yeah. I am so doing this mm -hmm. later for my daughter. I can't wait. <laughs> She'll love this. It's great. She's, what, three, four? She's almost three, yeah. Yeah, so this is just the right age, and she'll be yeah. learning the alphabet faster than you know she it. She already knows it. Yeah. Does she really? Oh, yes. yes. Wow. <laughs> That's a prerequisite for preschool, but yes. she's, she's got two more alphabet. years. Jason, the alphabet, I spoke to your daughter, the alphabet is not A, B, C, T, W, I, T. No. <laughs> a, B, C, Z, yeah. Well, there's a great Shel Silverstein kids book that is exactly that. My, now I know my ABZs. Uh, oh, no, that's yeah, it's very subversive. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's very, cool. So this is the first one's free, but then you you would pay. Oh, you for know, it? I think they have four of them for free, and then you can start downloading them. And depending on what you want, like some of them are a buck ninety eight. I think a book is oh, three ninety nine. But the book will say your kid's name, have your kid's picture in it. Um, and everything is at storybots, uh, B O T S dot. You know, you know what I love is that is the as the geek world ages and they start having life transitions, it then everything goes along with it, right? Mm, so totally. now, 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 everybody in the, in in that generation is having kids, so we're going to see a ton of kids stuff, and then it'll be uh, you know I don't know diapers, geriatric diapers or something. I don't know. It'll, as, as they <laughs> age, the world gets dragged <laughs> along with their life experience. I think this is fantastic. D yeah. I wonder if it's too uh, late to get digitaldiapers.com. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the first jib jab video? Do you remember how they they had their breakout video? No. It was for the 2004 election, and it was oh okay. It was uh, uh, George Bush, yes, and uh, John Kerry. I wonder if it's yeah, it is. It's still online. Uh, this land is your land. It, this was before YouTube, so when this came out. Um, they were running it on their own servers. Remember this? And uh, it killed the servers. So they moved it to Adam Films, and that's where we saw it was on Adam Films. 2004. <laughs> this land is your land. This land is my land. I'm a Texas tiger. You're a liberal wiener. I'm a great crusader. You're a Herman Munster. This land will surely vote for me. This is like the campaign, that this Will Ferrell movie. This land is your land. This land is my land. I'm an intellectual. You're a stupid dumbass. I'm a and yes, it's true. I won it thrice. You know, it's it's reassuring that eight years later, politics has changed not one whit. No, no, at all. You could just change the faces; it would work. Yeah. Well, in fact, they did. They have now. They have an Obama, uh, uh, Romney uh, videos as well now. So, in fact, but they but they have got a little more clever. It's the Great American Dance Off. So you could choose your candidate. Oh, that's clever. And then you can dance uh, with your candidate. How does this work? I, well, I'm so glad these guys are still around and they're doing stuff for kids and everything. That's really cool. Oh, no, it's great. And when I left, I said, you know, you, I know you guys have a sense of humor, so I'll give you uh, my mad card. I've been at mad for almost 50 years. And Greg said, would you be embarrassed if I got down on my knees and kissed your feet? Oh, <laughs> well, they have that same, that same uh, sense of humor. So now I've taken a picture of myself and I'm just going to fit oh, this. Oh, it's the best I've seen Fit of this you. into the, uh, so I can uh, dance with Mitt here. I guess I can move it over, right? Yeah, yeah. There we go. Uh, that's, that's that, that works perfect. Good, yeah, say. that works perfect. Let's yeah. see. Uh, now I'm going to dance with uh, Mitt Romney here and, uh. And uh, let's try this it. This is no political endorsement kind of thing. It's just a dance. <laughs> if you dance with somebody, that must mean you're going to... I don't know what now what happens next. You, you dance with the mitt that brought you, right? Oh, look, yeah. Look at that. That's pretty good. And then you click it to change dances. <laughs> 
I know exactly who I'm sending this to. <laughs> I'm putting this on my Facebook page. <laughs> this is good. So they're still around, obviously, doing the, uh, doing yes. the same oh, thing. Yeah. They figured it all out. Ex yeah, except they moved from Brooklyn to California. Oh, so. they live in California now? They're out your way. I no, think I they were I forgot the, uh, in Venice, California. Well, we got we to gotta get them on. I'm going to Facebook that. That's great. <laughs> Excellent. Jib jab, but the new thing is for kids, and it's called StoryBots. StoryBots.com. Dot com. That was gadget number one. Now, are you ready for gadget number two, Mr. Dickie D? I am, and gadget number two is very clever. A couple of drawbacks that I'll tell you about. So this guy is called Appfinity, and it's the app drive. What the heck? So it's, <laughs> it's pretty clever. So it's for people who like driving games. So the object is you put your phone in here, and then you can use the accelerometer in your phone, but have a steering wheel to drive through the games as opposed to just holding uh, the little phone. And there are four control buttons that you can use. The, the, a couple of problems with it. First of all, it's very inexpensive. Oh, it's, I have to put my phone in it. Yes. Oh. Yes, you have to put your phone in. All right, so that looks creates, like an iPhone 5. Is that an iPhone 5? Or no, not? that that is one of the problems. Oh. Because uh, Jason's going to cut to my close-up camera here because you can see the frame is actually made for either the iPod on one side. Oh, well, that's or good. You, or, you, or you flip it over uh, the iPhone 4 or 4S. But uh. the problem is the 5 cannot fit in there because this is a molded piece. Right. Um, and then there's... But they could mold, wide... mold another. No, no absolutely. Yeah. This is just, I don't know if they're going to have it out by Christmas. Oh, good. Um, and then there's a larger frame. You can just leave that frame out totally and just put it in here. The problem is that the bigger phones, like the Galaxy S5, doesn't fit in here uh, either. No, um, I like this idea, though, because this is basically a controller. But the nice I always found this a little difficult with iPhone driving games is that your hands are kind of covering yes. the screen. Yes. And you have to hold it funny. But this is perfect. This is like a steering wheel. No, absolutely. And, and there's one uh, – a pricing problem to be aware of is it sells for $20 like at – I think Walmart well, got it for – But – at a lot of places online, it's forty and fifty dollars. Oh. It's just coming out. Right. It's a very hot item for Christmas. Um, Do they make one for the iPad? Because that would real. I would love one for the iPad. You know, the, the game is available for the iPad, but they don't make one uh, uh, in, in the shape for the iPad. And you wouldn't no, have I think to use they, their I think game. They, they do. It's called the Ford Mustang. Yes, it's I a have little that. more expensive. I than have this. that. You know what? I got in a uh, a, a Tesla S. That's their sedan. Uh, a yeah. visitor to the studio on uh, on Saturday, uh, or maybe oh, it was Sunday. Oh, you know, I saw that. Yeah, he had a test number eleven off the wow. assembly line, and he'd come up here to get it from the Numi plant in Fremont. And so he showed me that thing has a screen. It's it's uh, I think it's a seventeen inch screen. It's this big in the center thing, and everything's on the screen. There is There are only two buttons in the car. One is legally mandated. That's the hazard light. That has to be a button state law requires. And the other is a button over the glove compartment. The rest of it, I don't know why, but the rest of it's all on this giant screen or screens behind the steering wheel. It's amazing. It's, the thing is, all, is, is like a computer. It is a computer. Wow. And the funny 3D? thing is... 3D? Huh? Was it in 3D? Uh, the car was, not the screen, no. Oh, okay. The car was very realistic. And then what's interesting is there's no engine. So you look in the back, it's big trunk, lots of space. Well, that's nice. It's a, it's a four-door, you know, sedan. And then uh, and I said, well, let's look at the engine. Up at the front, big trunk in the front. There's no, I don't know where they put the engine. It's Maybe it's in the seats. I don't know. Well, that's why it's so cheap. It, yeah, uh, you know, come to think of it, I never did see it go anywhere. Yeah, I know. Did he say, and this is my friend who towed me here? <laughs> The other thing I liked about it is it's using laptop batteries, something like 600 plus laptop batteries, lithium ion laptop batteries. They're in the carriage underneath. Um, it's it's a beautiful car. I, mean, I was really impressed, but I thought that was interesting. Giant screen 
wow, on the console. Yeah. Bigger and than a computer screen. going, this is so real. I, I feel like I'm really hitting people. This is a car. <laughs> it's very you realistic. You are hitting people. <laughs> Man, the bump, the motion control, when they, when you roll over, it just goes, it's very realistic. <laughs> is that blood Boom. on the windshield? Boom. This is the most realistic thing Boom. I've ever seen. Well, this is a little cheaper. This is only twenty dollars. That was a hundred thousand dollar car. This is only a twenty. It's a, it's twenty dollars, and yeah. then you have to buy the games. Uh, I was a little disappointed. It said uh, download two uh, XL MX off road free, and I did that, and most of the buttons didn't work. And then I realized I was uh, watch. I I had downloaded two uh, XL MX off road light. So uh, if you want to if you want to customize the cars and pick the track no. you want to race on and all that, and you can't uh, use other people's games on this, it's no, just their no, game. Oh well, I just, don't want it then. I want a I want a controller that works with any driving game. Yeah, no, I can understand. Well, there's five now, more coming, and also mm. they're going to have airplane games because the steering wheel works sure. too sure. as a, sure, as an sure. airplane game. Um, so that's app drive. You know, speaking of motion control, I was, uh, we, we went down on a, a Thursday and Friday to Universal Studios. Have you ever done that oh. tour? Oh, I, I've it's gone fun. there. I haven't done the tour. Well, they My take favorite the thing tram. in the world. I haven't done that. You oh, haven't that, done that? Oh, did you take the VIP tram? I did. Well, they have two trams. They do. They have a regular tram, uh, and the, and it, and it's Jimmy Fallon. Uh, is narrating on that one. This one has a human, the VIP tram. But it was really fun. And I, I, I went on a couple of motion-controlled rides. So they're not really rides where you're like uh, on a roller coaster. They have something like that too. But the Simpsons ride, you're in a the car. The Simpsons ride is my favorite amusement park ride Really? Ever. I was going to throw up. I thought that was so funny. Oh, well, it's very funny. But boy, it sure shakes you up. Yes, it's a roller coaster that's falling apart as you ride. Yeah, yeah. And home is on a crane, going. Don't worry, I'll save you. Oh my <laughs> gosh! And but and it's so interesting because your your body really thinks you're going, you know, straight down and stuff. And, yeah. and really, it's funny. They say when you're getting it, you all know, you can leave your backpacks, your cameras, your purses. Just leave them right there because you're not going anywhere. Just leave them there. You're going to be coming out the same spot. And the, and but then the thing goes up and it shakes you around like this. I, I got to the point where I I took off the 3D glasses and I'm I'm looking at the projector i'm looking around and you're not moving really? all that much and i felt fine they said that they said if you if you get queasy just close your eyes or you know you know look around because you're not really moving all that much but as soon as you look at the screen your body tells you that you are falling thousands of feet and i mean it's really amazing <laughs> but so okay you like that one now it is very funny i love the simpsons ride yes. but they've the technology's gotten better and we went on the the new one which is the transformers 3d ride and uh, the screens are better. The effects are very realistic. The 3D is uh, scarily realistic. You really feel like you're in this thing. And and they move it around a little bit more. It's a bigger place. So there's an elevator. You go up two stories. and down. You don't know you're doing that. But there there really is some real movement on this thing. And it was amazing. I really had a great time. So come back out and go to it. And then take... I'm shocked you didn't take the, the behind-the-scenes uh, tour of like of the, the, the back lot. That's cool. Yeah, I will next time. Uh, I was down to doing something. Uh, I went to the one in Florida. Ah, well, I'm sure it's the same. I'm sure this uh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I'll show you some pictures. Now, this they won't have in Florida. Let me see if I can pull up these pictures. Uh, in the movie The War of the Worlds, there's this very short scene. Maybe it's a minute scene. Maybe not even that long. Uh, Tom Cruise gets off a... Uh, or it rescues somebody. A 747 has crashed into a neighborhood. And um, and Steven Spielberg bought a used 747. Here, I'll get these pictures for you. And had it at, at a uh, they have like a, a graveyard for for airplanes and broke it up and it's still there. Now, see this, they won't have this in Florida because how many 747s can they trash? But yeah, but this is an amazing. I have one in the yard. <laughs> well, you know it's funny. People overlook this uh, on the ridge above it. They look out of their houses and they look down on this. <sighs> Oh. And it's like the, these poor people for three years, they've been looking out the window at a crashed 747. Oh, my word. It's very, I mean, it's real. It's a real, this, this is, these people are hanging oh sideways. Oh, my word. Well, actually, they were doing this for the Halloween uh, thing. So they put, they put dummies in oh, there okay. to make it look more realistic. It's pretty scary, <laughs> isn't it? Uh, yeah, I thought this was really, really cool. Let me Amazing. see if I can find. Uh, yeah, I guess that's all the pictures I have of it. But, um, uh, yeah, that was a fun. I highly recommend that. That's a great tour if you get a chance to go. The VIP is a little pricey. 
It's like two hundred bucks. Two hundred fifty bucks, but you get yeah. you get front of line and you walk around. We paid for it. It was it was worth it. It's it's eighty bucks for just the pass to the studio and the automated Jimmy Fallon ride. Oh, did you do King Kong? I did do King Kong. So that the is tram. Amazing. I don't want to spoil anything, but there's a trams driving along. You drive. They go. Wait a minute. Uh, we're going to have to turn. They, this is something they do a lot. Oh, the ride is broken. We're going to have to turn into this cave now. And King Kong and the dinosaurs, it's really good. This, I, I'm not a 3D fan. This 3D worked. Wow. Yeah. Hey, uh, Leo. Yeah? Dennis just walked in. Yeah? We He ordered these Sunday yeah. from Amazon Prime. Oh! Da -da, you got the da -da. doggy traction boots. Oh, uh, the ultra pause doggy <laughs> traction boots. <laughs> well, I got some mail, too. I'll tell you wow. what, I'm going to, we, we got another gadget from you, yes. which is not doggy traction boots. No, it is not. <laughs> and I, it is not even from me, Leo. <laughs> really? You're not going to wear those? Oh, you only have two feet. That's right. It won't work for you. You need four to really get the traction. Uh, then I have uh, some stuff I got from SkyMall. We've got our new poll, so you can vote on it, and we'll see what the results were from last week's poll. And we're going to welcome a new advertiser to the show. But first, let's welcome back an old friend audible.com I know you're audible fans who isn't Audible's the audio bookstore with 100,000 titles you can listen to on your iPhone your Windows phone your Android phone your tablet your Kindle any portable device you got and boy do they have some great books I mean fiction nonfiction and I know you like comedy so here's some good news our friend John Hodgman you probably saw uh, him yes. you've seen him on um, uh, the Daily Show with uh, uh, John Stewart. He's he's just one one of the funniest guys out there. His new book just came out. It's the third in his trilogy of a compendium of all world knowledge. This one talks about Ragnarok, the end of the world, which is coming in just a couple of months. Good news. No longer do we have to wait for the Mayan. Oh, good. As long as it comes world. before Christmas, because they don't want Christmas, to shop. Just a few days. Okay. Um, yeah, you know that kind of tricky. That's kind of tricky because it's like, what is it, December 12th. So, well, you, if it doesn't happen, you have a few days to get something. So don't do any <laughs> shopping till after Ragnarok, I guess, would be the point, right? Because okay. if the world's going to end, well, buy, why buy anything? Uh, this is an amazing book. 16 hours, not just Mr. Hodgman himself, but Jonathan Colton's on there, Rachel Maddow, Dick Cavett, John Hamm of Mad Men, Paul Rudd. Oh, yeah. Brooke Shields is on this. This is a multi multimedia production. So how would you like to get this book for free? All, now, I know you're a cheap What? Skate. For free! All you have to do is go to audible.com slash gizwiz, G-I-Z-W-I-Z, -I -Z, and uh, you can sign up. See, there's a picture of me. That's how you know you're in the right spot. You can sign up and, for the uh, gold plan. That's a book a month. See, there's John's uh, previous book, More Information Than You Require, right there. But don't get, well, you could get that. I See, this is the problem. It's hard to choose. So many great books. I would recommend that as all. In fact, get it now because John's going to join us on Triangulation tomorrow afternoon, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 2000 UTC on twit.tv. So you should really listen to the book tonight. Just came out today. Audible.com slash gizwiz. First month's free. First credit is free. Cancel at any time. Pay nothing. Book is yours to keep for the rest of your life. But I have a feeling you won't want to cancel because it's so great. Audible. Dot com slash gizwiz. All right, Dick. Gadget number three. And it's, it's gadget number three, pause, right? Is our video of the week. Ooh. Ooh. Now, uh, after the video, I'll tell you how you can send in your video. But this video is very exciting because it's from the world famous theme writer Dan Luders. Mm. And Dan, it turns out, bought a piece of crap, and we're going to let him vent right here on the Gizwiz. Dan, take it away. Hi, Leo. Dan Luter's here, and I want to show you one of my gadgets that I got that I just can't part with, uh, but it's also a total turkey. <laughs> it's the Sylvania. Uh, catchy name, s y n e t a. 7R, which is a uh, Android uh, 2.2, I believe, with a with, uh, uh, donut. 
And I thought, hey, great, you know, I got out a Black Friday deal, $50. I thought, you know, what the heck, we'll give it a try. Maybe I can mod it. Maybe I can, you know, have something for, for my kid to play on. And um, this this model is so inept. Uh, <laughs> even uh, it won't read an SD card. It won't read USB. Um, it also um, won't hold on to a, a Wi-Fi signal. Uh-huh. It claims it does B, G, and N, and it does neither. Okay, so as for the Wi-Fi, if you can see here, I click on uh, the network. Yeah, connect. And click connect. Yeah. Disconnected. Connecting. It automatically disconnects. <laughs> okay. Oops, then it tries again. Scanning. Now connecting. It's scanning. And if you'll see down here, it then goes to scanning <laughs> uh, Dan Luter's network and says disabled. Uh, and that happens yeah, over I've had and over that again. happen with Android Ethernet too. Ethernet jack works fine. Yeah. So I, I've seen these with like a Windows CE operating system. Maybe those are a little better. Uh, I think I got a lemon, but from what I've read online, they're all lemons. But for some reason, I just can't get rid of it. Now the battery life is, you know, they claim it's going to be up to um, six hours on a charge, <laughs> and I'm lucky if I get one hour on it. Um, I was going to just use it in my office just as a little email client or weather gadget or something like that. The problem is, is um, you can't stop it from shutting down mm. uh, and going <laughs> into sleep mode. So, mm. And when you do that, all, everything tired. you put in, location, email addresses, all this stuff are lost. So there's definitely <laughs> oh, something great. wrong with this one, but I've heard lots of stuff online where it's terrible, you know, and I just can't get rid of it. You know, uh, maybe one of the things I thought about using it for is uh, a boat anchor, but it's too small uh, for, <laughs> as a paperweight, but it's too big. But I thought, <laughs> nutcracker. What do you think? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> mm. wow. Hey, tasty walnuts. Oh, wow, so mm. there you go. The fifty dollar nutcracker. Uh, I like it. I guess I love yeah. the name. They put a just stuck a seven in there just to make it leap. Yes. Anyway, yeah. You know, I, I when I was looking for a photo of it, uh, I also saw a bunch of very bad reviews uh, for that. Thing. I think Dan's probably. Pretty much nailed it. I think you should save that for all about Android. Oh, yeah. Jason. Put that on all We about. really need to get this on Before You Buy. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. The Before You Buy review. Yes. Yeah. 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 I bet, though, if you... He, I keep surprised you can't root that. I, I guess if you, can't, if you can't get into it, you can't really root it. Yeah. Wow. It depends on what kind of developer community is behind it. <laughs> I, I have to imagine not much. <laughs> well, it's a good walnut cracker anyway. Yep. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So if you have a video piece of crap you bought, an invention you invented, or an old gadget you hate to part with, uh, make a video, one, two, or maximum three minutes, just like Dan did. It's, it's really great. We love seeing people who watch the show fans being able to express themselves on the Gizwiz. So post it to YouTube and send us a link to the video, and the link goes to Gizwiz at twit.tv and uh hopefully in a few weeks you'll see your own video i invented it i bought a piece of crap or if you have an old gadget we love people when they send in stuff that they bought 30 or 20 years ago they can't part with it uh so uh, just get your little camcorder out do a little video and uh post it and email us gizwiz at twit.tv how exciting yeah Dick, before uh, before we get to our new Sky our Sky Mall stuff and all that, we have to figure out what yeah. we're going to get next from Sky Mall. We got we're kind of backed up, which is good because I got a toilet seat here, so that'll help. It tr- <laughs> yeah, testing. that's, yeah, that's ca- good. <laughs> we're kind of backed and up. X Flex is good, yeah. <laughs> but I think we should just keep let's keep it keep the the the, the flow going. <laughs> yeah, so to speak. So yeah. to speak. Okay. Let's okay. see what fresh stuff we should buy. Now, if you may remember, we started... I am. Here's the jingle, first of all. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Don't! So, last week, with straw poll number 3772, you go to straw poll. It's not too late if you wanted to change the results on this vote. If you hurry, you go to strawpoll.me slash 37. Seven two, we had this was the vote. Your choice was the Soma Wave helmet, 
which was a helmet that you used to put on your head to help you relax. The squirrel magnets that come with their own wardrobe so you can dress them up. <laughs> or the Aerosage leg massager. And I have to say the votes are in and there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of question that I should get the Soma Wave helmet. 52% oh, of you yeah. agreed. Surprisingly, the dress-up squirrel magnets came in a strong second. Yeah, that is, it is amazing. <laughs> you guys have an interesting sense of humor. Thanks to Dan Dirks <laughs> for our straw poll software. Are you ready for a new straw poll? Oh, I am flushed with excitement. Good news. <laughs> <laughs> Here's our choices, and then we'll review. I have the, um, the uh, My Masseur uh, back massager. I might need some oh. batteries for this. I'm not, I'm not sure here. I think it plugs in, actually. We were looking at it earlier. Oh, you, 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 already, you already took a look at it? All right. So, oh, yeah, Just I, briefly. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll take a look at that. But first, let's figure out what we're going to do next yeah. time. Uh, here is your choice. The Siam, and this are, these are thanks to our viewers. The Siamese blanket. Look, she's cold. She's really chilly. But she's also still really chilly. She's reading him as... Hi. I Hi. I am the direct accounts manager here at Sky Mall. Oh. And I'm going to show you the cool new way to keep warm and cozy with this blanket. Okay. This is this is a special kind of a... This generously sized blanket is made of polyester fleece. And it comes in seven different colors. It keeps me warm and cozy wherever I go. And with these sleeves, I can continue moving my arms and move my hands. <laughs> you don't look at all dorky. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> By the way, that's another uh, item on Sky Mall. Those are weights that you fill with water so you can travel. What makes this Siamese? That's what I don't understand. I, I, I thought... It's a giant... Oh, it's, it's got sleeves for two. So she really didn't demonstrate that. Yeah, no kidding. She, in fact, that video doesn't seem to relate at no, all to this product. I don't think that. <laughs> I is, mean, except for the fact I that it's a blanket. I thought they were going like, to Velcro <laughs> together at the sleeves or something. So, so the point is, you saw the slanket for one. That's what she was yeah. demonstrating. But what happens when you get lonely because you're such a dork wearing a slanket? Well, you invite somebody over to share your slanket with you. And that's why you need a Siamese slanket for two, the Siamese blanket is a gigantic fleece blanket with sleeves for two. A very soft to the touch, lightweight but warm fleece blanket with large loose sleeves designed so you don't feel like you're wearing the blanket simply wrapped up in its wonder. I want to get, get fleeced for just forty nine nine nine. You, I want to be wrapped up in its wonder. So um, I wonder what that I th feels like. I think like. the wonder is sold separately. Okay. So that's item number one. Item number two, and you, you kind of kind of stole my thunder on this. Uh, I don't, but this isn't the same as the one you're getting. So we can maybe compare and contrast. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pugs, so you're just getting, you're getting good looking shoes. I have traction boots. These mention nothing about traction. In fact, as far as I know, they're pretty slippery. These are Pugs Shoes for Dogs. Pugs Shoes for Dogs provide a stylish solution for keeping your dog's paws <laughs> warm, dry, and protected from harsh weather conditions. Pugs are available in three sizes and have an adjustable hook and loop strap to select a secure fit. So I, uh, I thought, this would be good for Ozzy. Fairway's going to wear... So, fair, what is it? Fairway's slippery? Maggie. Uh, Maggie. Maggie, Ma Maggie is a little more than 15 years old, oh. and she has uh, oh. on slippery, you know, No, you need floors. a walker for Maggie. <laughs> All right. Well, that's... I'm going to get a walker for Dennis, and he can just carry Maggie. <laughs> so, uh, this is good. This is good. So, if, if the audience chooses Pug Shoes for Dogs, we'll do a dual review. Each of our dogs will be wearing shoes. Okay. And finally, now this is not on Sky Mall. But uh -oh. by but I know. It matter. And well, it might matter. We may never get this because it's from Kickstarter. It is oh. but a lot of people have been asking. It has over gone over the goal, still 15 days oh. to go on the ostrich pillow. Now, I thought this was kind of interesting. I think you should all watch this video. It offers not merely a pillow, but a micro environment in which to take a comfortable power nap. Hi, we're Studio KG, and we created the Ostrich Pillow. I actually want this. Perfect companion to nap, pretty much. So the Ostrich Pillow goes over your head, <laughs> makes you look kind of like an alien. There's a place for you to stick your arms, and, and, you, and it's compact. Oh, my. <laughs> you don't look too weird wearing it. No. And it's very comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, and it comes with cake. And it apparently comes with 34% more cake. Um, I 
desperately want one of these. I am praying that our uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. audience will vote for the ostrich you have to do pillow. Is find a place to nap, slip on the ostrich pillow, <laughs> and you're set to go. <laughs> you stick your hands oh. in the top to keep them warm, I guess, or to hold your head. I don't know what's going on in there. I would discover that thousands of people also shared the need to nap. Apparently, this got a lot of attention. People have been sending me emails about this for a long oh, time. Oh, I've got so many yeah. of them. I only forward ostrich one of them. But. Yeah. So People I'm hoping, so I, here's what we would do. Uh, they're still looking for people to back the project for $60. Oh, that's sold out. I guess I'll have to back it for $75. You receive one original ostrich pillow. If you want two, maybe I'll get two for $140. That's a deal. Add $20 for shipping to the USA. Wow. They even go, you know, go all the way up to $620 if you want 10 of them. Now, here's the downside they're where are they coming from <laughs> I don't are know. they are they coming from overseas yeah, apparently they they want twenty dollars for shipping uh it's a young architecture and design studio he didn't sound he didn't sound like he was from around here just you yeah. know but they say they say that it won't be available to december so we can put this on our our sky mall poll and i will but uh, I, I might just have to order this separately. And ha but we, we're back, like I said, we're backed up. So it, anyway, here's our by new Christmas. It might be here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or Ragnarok. Yeah. Play the you theme. You know, they're practically it's... brothers. I mean, this is on the internet. Sky Mall is on the internet. It's the There's same. such a close connection. I, you know, I'll be honest. I just want the pillow. And I I'm don't just, blame you. I'm just praying uh, people you know, do the right in, thing. No, in your in your endless fight. To not attract attention, <laughs> this should be on the top of your list. It's aptly named because no one can see, you can't see anybody, but everybody can see you. It's like sticking your head in the sand. Yeah. They're in good. London is where they are. I will go, okay. I will go get it. Just if that helps. So here you go. Here's your straw poll. Play the theme, if you will, Mr. Jason Howell. Gentlemen, visit strawpoll.me. Poll is spelled P-O-L-L, -L, by the way. Slash three niner, niner two. Should I get the Siamese slanket, the pug shoes for dogs, or the ostrich pill? Can you vote more than once? I don't believe so. No, oh, you can't. It says uh, you have already voted. Oh, man. You know, to avoid people gaming the system. Probably. So this system, thank you, Dan Dirks, cannot be gamed. Well... I wish not easily. You, not easily. <laughs> you might have to go to the library to cast extra votes right. for the ostrich pillow, which I'm is sure there in the are lead. Ways. But people oh, like the dog shoes. They do like the dog shoes. They do like the dog yeah. shoes. If I got if I got the slanket and the pillow, would that make you happy? Nah, the slankets. I don't like the slankets. No, everybody knows about slankets. Just because yeah. it's for two, there's nothing special about that. No. Anyway, we'll keep this going all week. Strawpoll.me slash 3992. Cast your vote. Let me know what should we get next from from uh, Sky Mall or yeah. from some guy in London. Yeah. The slanket is like an ostrich pillow for your entire body. That It's true. What and do they it's say? No it fun. Wraps, it, it, you it's take, no fun. It take off in wonder, Wonderland. All right. oh, you see, now now Osage Pill is starting to get a little traction, <laughs> so to speak. All right. Now, a couple of weeks ago, you voted for this. Yes. It took a long time to get here <laughs> from Viatech. And by the way, I got an email from Viatech that said, we just sent you our lovely My Masseur Massage device. But by accident, we sent you something else. It will arrive in a 5x5x5 five by five by five box. Please don't open it. Just write refused on the box. <gasps> it's an ostrich pillow. I didn't open it. I was good. I didn't want to violate. Oh, you okay? I should have, and then refused. You should have it. opened it and then sealed it and sent it back. <sighs> Is it still on the front desk? No, I think it's gone. The mail carrier has taken it away. Oh. So anyway, but the, here's the good news: if you order from this company, chances are good they'll accidentally send you something else from somebody else. <laughs> okay, good. And you don't have to refuse it. 
so here it is. Now, this, by the way, and, and by the way, the story on this is I didn't get it from Sky Mall because Sky Mall was charging 100 bucks. These guys are only charging 25 It's exactly the same. In fact, the Sky Mall picture is the same picture of the girl on the front of the, the, the box. So... I know this is the same product. My Masseur Portable Personal Massager. It's an easy, portable way to relieve stress due to daily pressures. That's for me, right? Yeah. yeah. It looks like a cigarette lighter adapter that you took out there, too. So <laughs> oh, you yeah. can use it in the car. You could use Oh, I'm wearing this in the car. I'm surprised. I'm surprised more taxi drivers don't use these. This would be great. So I am going to yeah. take the car adapter, and then let me plug this in. Oh, you don't inflate it or anything? Inflate it? I, don't I know. thought it's it was. I, I thought in the picture it was like very big on someone's back. Well, okay. Um, look, boy, it's a long. It's a big man. It's a big manual. Oh no! It's just that's a. That's the warning. The this manual is just those two lines. Is for use only as directed in directions. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not like okay. as not like as Jason Howell directed you, or 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 Dick D. Bartolo directed you. Read the direction. Always unplug prior to cleaning or performing any type of service. If the device appears to be damaged, do not use. Do not operate where there is flammable or combustible products. Use the device again. It says only as described in the instructions. Again, twice they said that. And then, uh, amazingly, Leo, it says, please send back the other box that came with this box. <laughs> Printed right on there. Right on there. Uh, okay, it says, place the masseur on just as you would a normal vest with the massage diodes resting on your back. Mm -hmm. So here, you know what? Given this was only like 25 bucks. This could be something. This is quite a bit of stuff here. Yeah. Uh, that's the power. Okay, so I'm going to plug this in. This is. A, is there a plug over here somewhere? I probably, no, there's oh, no AC at the brick house. Do yet. we have We're any? Still working on yeah, it. That would be nice. Just a minor detail. We that just, was the one thing that you overlooked. Where do I plug? Forty cameras, it? no AC. Underneath, there's plugs underneath. Oh, look at that. There's like a hundred plugs underneath here. It's on All right, here we go. And I'll plug this in here. Yeah, we put it on the IS side. All, All right. right. Now this, this is a Velcro strap here. And these are always all Velcro. Well, that's good. There's, they spare no expense. So I'm going to put this on. Okay. So this goes over like a vest, it says. Yep. All right. So I'm putting on. my vests For those go of you listening at home. <laughs> putting on the. Wow, that looks really comfortable. You might need some help with this because this is fairly elaborate. All right. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. This is good. Okay. And then, so I'm wearing it like a vest now. Right? Okay. Nice. It doesn't nice. look quite like it, it did in nice the picture. nice shoulders. This, either the woman is very small or this is not as big as it, as it looks. Okay. Now, I have a remote control here. And uh, it's blinking at me. Um, so let's turn it on. It's got heat, position, intensity, and mode settings. So let's turn it. Oh. Oh, it's pulsing. It's going back and forth and back and forth. It's a mild vibration. <laughs> oh, no, I think that's just an earthquake, Leo. Can you hear it? Let's turn no. the intensity up. Low, high. Oh, and it's got heat. Let me turn some heat on. And then the mode, normal, pulse. You know, like, this is actually doing something. Wave. I can hear it now. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Let me uh, readjust the straps a little bit. This is actually... This may may not be for twenty five bucks. It may not be bad. For I would not sure it's worth a hundred bucks. And I do wish it were a little less snug. But it really the straps are not very long. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. Can you hear how, it? how yeah, this lines up with the picture? It doesn't. It's, I don't know how she got this. No, I, I know in the picture it looked like it was. <laughs> yeah, the, she's like three feet tall. Because it's not that big. I think that's a Barbie doll. She's really small. Because, I mean, I don't... Look at this. This is not even going down to the, the middle of my back. You know what? I think the other box had the thing in it that you wanted. <laughs> the bigger one? Maybe the I bigger the box. Look, twenty one ninety five. That's not bad. That's how much it is on... Uh... What's up? This is good. No, Like, is it upside down, maybe? Or... No, I think uh, this is it. I think this, this seems like strapped. Should this be around my waist? All right. Well, let's, let's turn it around. It's not going to be any bigger, I don't think. All right. Uh, <laughs> you, can hear, you can hear now the buzzer. Yeah, yeah maybe it is angry. upside down. Oh, okay. Maybe it is upside down. 
Good call, Colin. Yeah, mm-hmm. Colin, Colin's uh, the sartorial expert here. He says I should be wearing it with a belt around my waist. That does that make more well, sense? This makes more then sense. Then it's going to pull it up against your back. That makes sense. Oh, okay. Otherwise, All right. Because yeah, there's otherwise right. there's no nothing to hold it against you. Liz, come here. Why don't you put it on? This is good. This is good. She's a woman. It'll look it'll look more normal on her. All right. So it's vibrating already. So let me turn it off so you're surprised. <laughs> All right. Let's turn it off. <laughs> All right. Now, turn around. Turn around. This goes here. Put that there. All right. And then uh, these, these, these that go around here under your armpits. Wait a minute. That's the wrong one. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What does this do? What Liz doesn't know is that we've hooked the vest <laughs> we've up to a her regular coffee. Volt. Here, put that, to establish Generator. that. I don't want to do that for you. Okay. And then here's the other, here's the other one here. This goes right there. That's true. And then we'll put this around your waist. Really, it's not waist. It's more like bra line. And then I don't know. Somehow I've gotten involved with this. I don't. It's maybe attached um, here. Like, wait a minute. No, don't move. Because I'm. I'm. Wait a minute. Wait. It's. It's somehow. It's. It's attached to. It's got this. This is more. Oh, so this is a device for two. It's a, it's a Siamese massager. All right, you ready? All right, I want your re- I want your honest reaction when I turn this on. I'm ready. All right. <laughs> is it tickle? All right. This is. I feel ripple effect. Here we'll put it in auto. All right. That's normal. This is pulse. Does it? Are you relaxed? Does it make? Huh? I look like the yeah, well, you have a little hunchback there. Oh. Now, you know, I think this is not bad, actually. I mean, for what, 23 bucks? Oh. Yeah, 21 and it looks, 95. It looks great. There, you can't go anywhere because you're attached. Here, have the controller. You can. So, what do you think? 21 bucks. It's, it's warming up. That's good. No, it warms up because it, it, uh, it, it that's good, too, because it wants to relax the muscles. I, you know what? I thought this would be junky. This is not bad. No, it's not. And it does cut. You could put this on in the car. Here, I'll tell you what, Liz. Here's the car adapter. On the way home, because you have a long commute. How long is your commute? 45 minutes. 45 minutes. I want you on the way home. That's how you hook it up, Liz. Take this with you. Take this with you. Plug this into the car. Adapter like that. And just drive home with that and see how you feel. Or, yeah, you could put it on the seat. I like the seat idea. I think this is not bad. You know what? I'm going to give it a thumbs up. All right. It's much better. It actually has. I thought it was going to be a. It's not a. I mean, it's not. Look, it's not a massage chair, but it. No. But it's. But it's. But it gives you a little bit of a massage movement. Yeah, it would relax you. The heat would feel good. There you go. That that is. I would say surprisingly good. But we don't recommend you get it from Sky Mall because they charge a hundred bucks for it. Not worth a hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. Twenty one ninety five on Amazon. And as far as I can tell, it's the same company, the same device exactly. And that is one lesson from Amazon, or rather from uh, Sky Mall. Not only is the shipping time uh, often very very long, four to six weeks. But the prices sometimes are a little high. So shop around because you can often get it from Amazon. Now that's not the only thing I got in the mail today. Oh, okay. And I'm, I've got something else I'm going to show you in the mail. Okay. And, uh, Is that the contract from Sky Mall for sponsorship? <laughs> no. <laughs> that seems to have gotten lost in the mail. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> this is a new sponsor. How about this? It's a Ooh. company called, let me pull up the website, Bespoke okay. Post. B-E-S-P-O-K-E Post. It's, for, it's a product subscription service for men. You can find it at bespokepost.com. Com, and their slogan is, become a gentleman one box at a time. Now, it's a, a, nice. subs- I love this idea. It's a subscription club. What they do is they go around, they put together packages each month, a themed box of awesome. Now, this is uh, $45 per box with free shipping, easy returns. Uh, the value of the box is always above the subscription cost. At the beginning of each month, they let you know what the selection is going to be. You can opt out if you want. This would be a great gift, I think. A one one month gift is fifty dollars. Three months, one hundred thirty five dollars. Six months, two hundred seventy dollars. And look, now this is the one I just got. This is, and look, by the way, I love it because it comes in a Macanudo box, a cigar box. Oh, that's very funny. Which is great. It's very <laughs> it's very masculine. And this one I got was one they just recently did. It's shave stuff. So I get. Then this is all in the box. So you get the 
The, the shaving brush stand, the beaver shaving brush. Ooh. Those are great. I really like those. Um, aftershave soother. This is shave oil. Uh, uh, this is all from um, lavender shave cream. Ooh, that sounds good. From Shave mm -hmm. Incorporated. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's all in the box. And then you could even order more of this stuff from eshave.com for 15% off through them. So did I did I lose anything here? We got the badger shaving brush, the shaving stand, pre-shave oil, shaving cream, aftershave soother. That was my bespoke box for this month. Isn't that cool? So yeah, if do you're you feel like a gentleman now? I am not a gentleman, so I'm going to have to get some more stuff from bespoke <laughs> okay. posts because it's one box at a time they don't guarantee you'll become a gentleman in just one box yeah i would think not this is a great uh, gift idea holidays are coming bespoke com slash twit will save you 20 percent off your first box Ooh. so go there bespoke post b-e-s-p-o-k-e post.com slash twit look at that see get 20 percent off the first month of your subscription when you come in through this way, they've done coffee. They done they actually with the thing that became oh. I became aware of them. They did an AeroPress. They had special beans, a little hand grinder, and the AeroPress, which you and I discovered. Actually, you discovered and you turned me on to. That was their coffee box. They do a variety of different boxes. You could find out more at BespokePost.com. So that came in the mail today. I was very happy about that. And I have one more thing that came in the mail, but I'm going to save that because right now, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, you're about to take a walk. A walk through the streets of Manhattan, where it's been pouring rain of late. That's perhaps why everybody's wearing their Burberry coats, their deer stalker caps, and smoking large Meerschaum pipes as they walk back and forth on the streets of the city. Yes, once again, it's time to make a visit to Dick's Gadget Wells. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. And look what he found there. Father Robert Balliser. Yeah, I did. He was in the warehouse hey! saying, let me out, let me out. <laughs> That's not, what, how come Robert's uh, at the uh, at the Disneyland studios there? Just for uh, fun? I, I, I made a wrong turn in Chicago. <laughs> These things happen. These things happen. Well, it's nice to see you. Robert is, of course, yeah. the host of This Week at Enterprise Tech on the Twit Network, does reviews for Before You Buy as well. And it's always nice to uh, to see Robert. He's one of our, it, I think he's our newest host on Twit and one of, one of my favorite people now. I just all of a sudden just found this guy and love him. I think you found him, Jason. He was on TNT. He was on one of our uh, guests at end of year. We, we interview uh, fans of the show and oh. he was uh, on that and, Who and we brought it? him back. Yeah. He does his own show at the, the techstop.net, although I think we've pretty much co-opted the rest of his uh, year. <laughs> well, great find. I thank you, Jason, for, for hey, finding him because we just him. love He's Robert. He's the awesome one. Yeah, nice to see him. So what do you have from the uh, Gadget uh, Warehouse? I have. Actually, he came here using the maps in the iPhone 5 <laughs> trying to find the brick house. <laughs> <laughs> he was enough. It said, it said take a left at Disneyland. I'm sure. Yeah, exactly. That, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we, we, we sent you to a place that has twit. In it, so go there. Uh, I, I have, I have something from a company. You, you, I bet you know the name. You may have forgotten the kind of thing they make. Yes. The name of the company. They're out of business now. The name of the company is Ambico. Ambico sounds very familiar. I, I, you know it. A M B I C O. I don't. What is it that they okay. make? Ambico made all sorts of add-on gadgets, like for. Your video camera, they yes, made lights and they made yes, microphones. Yes. And, right. It's been a long time. <laughs> exactly. They, yes. they, they merged with Recaton and Recaton. Then Recaton. They did the, yeah, the disc cleaners. Yes. Yes. And yeah, the tape go, cleaners. And yes, Ambico. Yes. I went, you'd get it at Radio Shack. I had lots of Ambico accessories. I remember that. Ex exactly. Exactly. So I found in the warehouse, I found the, let me see if I can find the box. Here it is. I found the Ambico. On cam mixer. Whoa. Now, I know this sounds Whoa. really, this sounds really, really good. Now, just to read you the box copy, it comes with uh, a hands free microphone, stereo earphones, a mixing console so that you can mix music and voice. And on the box is that picture of the man holding the outfit until you realize. <laughs> 
what he's supposed to be doing. <laughs> not, first of all, it's a 12-year-old. But okay, after that. <laughs> right, right. Okay. Yeah. It looks so like now, he's made of wax. Right. right. <laughs> he's holding this giant video camera. Yes. He's wearing the headphones. Yes. And he's holding a, a little... Talkback um, thing. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. That's a music player. Oh, it's like a Walkman. Okay. Right. Yes, yeah, so as he's recording, mm. he is also narrating oh. the video he's recording, ah. and he's mixing in the background music. Perfect. All with two hands. <laughs> so what you're saying is this is not for use in post. You have to do this while you're shooting the that video. Is, yes, it was. I kept looking at the box, and it says, let you record them live. Oh, dear. <laughs> yes. Oh, dear. Yes. Yeah. And it's funny because I said to Jason, I tweeted, uh, I, I mean, I Googled for an hour and could pretty much find nothing. And Jason said, I spent 20 minutes. I couldn't find anything either. Nobody has so, this anymore. No. This not was even on not, eBay could you get this. No, no. This was not a giant hit. The, uh, but I uh, but I said to Jason, I hesitate doing it because Leo's going to say, wait a minute, <laughs> one person doing video and narrating oh, and music. Wait a minute. That could I save could us a get lot of rid money. Of about half the stack. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, Ambico is out of business. Oh, man. So, yeah, I know. I, I should have started this business 20 years ago. <laughs> yeah. You, you could have gotten three of these, Holy and today cow. the brick house would be running with only four people. Chad should ne needs this for his yeah uh, for his uh, some pretty uh, crappy Minecraft audio show. and and narration <laughs> that didn't match, but it would be cheap. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it would be yeah. cheap. Vince three sixteen in our chat room says that's exactly how Ken Burns does all his documentaries. <laughs> <laughs> that's very fun. <laughs> and then in eighteen sixty five, <laughs> President Lincoln. Yeah. Well, uh, okay, Ambico. And because Thank you. on cam mixer, we, uh, if you're searching for it, I can't it believe is, you yeah, have you're not going to find it even if you're searching for it. You, the I only know. place you can find it today is in the Dick Skagit warehouse. Dick's That's the Gadget only place. warehouse. Yeah. It's not it's, even it's, as if you just can't find it being sold. You can't find any mention of it at all on the internet. <laughs> no, no photos. I may have the only. Yeah, you've got a collector's Ambico item. Everybody's trying to forget it. That's Mixer. the reason. That's the that's the whole reason. Nobody wants to remember this thing at all. Actually, the beautiful thing. Is, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just gonna say the beautiful thing is now there is internet presence. It's on the Gizwiz. It is. Yeah. You, you, yes, next time exactly. you search for it, you'll find this show. In fact, that's correct. If you're coming to this show from a Google search for Ambico. Thank you for joining us. You know, each week we feature other things you can never find on Google. So tune in again for another Gizwiz episode. Now, the singers. <laughs> Oh, I'm and sorry. Leo, you have, <laughs> I the, have letter the letter this week. This is so funny. Scott Jordan, you know Scott Jordan from Scotty Vest. Oh, yes, Vest. Uh, Scotty Vest. He Scott. has been, for a month, he's been yes. saying, Leo, Leo, we got this amazing new product, but you cannot talk about it till October 2nd. I said, what is it? He said, I can't even tell you because I know you're a loudmouth. So what arrives on my desk on October 2nd today but yes. a package from Scott E. Vest. There he is, Scott Jordan. Okay. Yeah. It says their slogan is be a traveler, not a tourist. And if you go to the Scotty Vest website, they're famous for their x ray images. So apparently, he says yes. that they have reinvented. Has he talked to you about this yet? Uh, no. Thanks, Scott. <laughs> You know, uh, United Parcel does deliver also to the East Coast. <laughs> well, what's cool about this is he says he's he, he became, in my mind, very well known because of the fleeces. That you know, they made these great fleeces. We have twit fleeces made by Scotty Vest, and they the whole idea of Scott stuff was many pockets. Right, actually, the vests were the first thing, but I I wear the fleeces all the time. Many pockets and the pan personal area network where you can take your headphones and wire them through so that you you know you don't. Have headphones jangling all over the place. I just have always loved this stuff. Well, apparently, I and I haven't looked at this yet. This is the first time I'm seeing it because he wouldn't Ooh. let me see it. He's reinvented the fleece, and he says, "Leo, you're going to love this. This is our new fleece." So you're seeing everybody seeing it for the first time ever right now. The oh, new Lord. fleece 
7.0 from Scotty Vest. All right, well, now, Leo, you could put your head in that and lay <laughs> on your desk. This is the ostrich pillow. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. It's the ostrich girl with extra <laughs> pockets. Go ahead. There you go. There you it's go. exactly and the same. <laughs> and I just put my uh, hands in here. and the, No wonder he didn't want anybody to mention this. Yeah, now put your head down. This and is top should. secret. Yeah. There, there, there you go. It you just the... saved $120. Look at that. Look at that. That's perfect. That's they perfect. are indistinguishable. I, I, take, a, take a snapshot. Of I don't that, think this is what I don't think this is what Scott was talking about when he said he's oh, okay. reinvented okay. the fleece. Okay. What, get, how many pockets do you think are in this thing? Uh, you know, his stuff normally has like eighteen to twenty pockets. Twenty three pockets, stylish as a vest, or you can zip off the sleeves. Uh, as oh, nice! To, to, a, a jacket or a vest. Oh, I like the styling. Look at this new piping. So these nice. these go off. Uh, it is very uh, soft, machine washable, micro fleece. Fa- oh, look! Wait a minute. Ooh, clear touch pocket is in the pocket now for your iPhone. That's kind of cool because it means you can use your iPhone. And look, it's got the wiring built into it, so I can put the iPhone right in here, in the clear touch pocket right there. Oh yeah, and yeah. Then, and then, and then, then it goes I plug right it to in, you. and then the headphones. I guess the wiring's all built in here. Look at this. This is cool. This is cool. Nice. What else? what else? Oh, look at all these. So this is the new Oh, and that, that, that's for the iPad, right? Uh, oh, yeah. There's always there's usually a giant pocket for the iPad. Look yeah. at all the pockets in this thing. Right. This no, the, that, that's for the barbecue, that pocket, Leo. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's, what's and the mean? butane tank oh, this is, is in the Oh, this is for a bottle side. of water. That's <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, they, these things are so complicated. It's the only uh, piece of clothing I know that actually comes with manuals in the pockets. Yes. Uh, yes. It. 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 But this is not. You know what? The new lining is really nice. Really. Oh, and good. see the magnetic closures here are great. See, this is it. These. <laughs> when you get a Scotty vest a piece of clothing, it's for several weeks. You continue to find instructions yeah. in various places. It's like clipping. Yeah. <laughs> keep, they, they, we got the cards in here uh, and pictures. By the way, I love it of people wearing their yeah. Scotty vests. So for, so I, actually, I actually uh, get that on Audible, so I can just <laughs> listen at night, Scotty saying, in the right top pocket, there's is your phone there's and a, th- a spare battery. In and out pocket, access the internal mesh cell phone pocket from the exterior, divided digit. This is really amazing. The bud pocket for your earbuds. So there's earbuds in the bud pocket. He's pre-populated this with earbuds. Oh, look. Oh, look. The earbuds have their own little pocket. And you just oh. pull them out, and then and <laughs> now that's got to be. Did he give you a price on that? Uh, I don't know. Let's go right now to the uh, okay. Scotty Vest because I think that just nice literally just went on on sale. ScottEvest.com. So I like to give Scott plugs because he basically I'm wearing Scotty Vest pants, uh, underwear, everything. I'm a, I'm a Scotty Vest guy. He hasn't done socks yet. There's a divided digital camera pocket, a quick draw pocket. Access the internal clear touch cell phone pocket right there from the, see, it's right there from right oh, here. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Travel documents pocket with wallet pocket and my memory pocket. I'm telling you, you got to read a manual. So this yeah. is their newest uh, Scotty Vest 7, uh, which just came out. They have so many great things. Let me see if I can find the Scott. There it is, the Fleece 7.0. So, yeah, here it is on the website. His stuff is a little, 160 bucks. His stuff is a little expensive. It won't ship till the end of the month. Do the x-ray view, though, so you can see what's in this thing. It is really cool. Nice. Yep. ScottEvest.com. Dot com. God, I, I, I didn't real. I am the first in the world to have this. This is really nice. I actually really like this. Don't you think it looks good with the piping? Oh, yeah, I yeah. do. It's nice. Yeah. I like it. Vest. Now, is that a large? Scott E. That's a large? Yeah, I always, he always sends me the extra large. Yeah, I don't know. Good. Wait a minute. Here's a letter from Scott. Let's see here. It says, hello, Leo. <laughs> uh, secret, super secret, coolest tech jacket known to man. Put your phone in the left-hand warmer pocket. Take it for a little test drive at the dinner table or walk through the airport. Plug it into the wired headsets to be supplied. Now, it does not come with the headsets, by the way, which is good because these are the old buds. I want, I'm going to put my new earbuds in there. Um, we want to remind you the blackout period for the fleece will not be... Oh, dear. Oh, October 2nd. Phew! 
All right. Can All you right. edit this out? Uh, no. Please do not don't dis- tell Dick. Do not disclose anything till then. Also, we'll be getting in touch so that he can Skype me. So for a walkthrough on the jacket, I don't think everybody gets that. I don't think everybody gets that. So there it is. This is brand new. Look at he's even got a patent. This is patent. Can you believe this? He's applied for a patent on this. So, you know, people wow. copy. People copy these things. Yeah. There's the patent application. That looks just like oh, you, no. Dick. That's for patent leather. <laughs> Wait a minute. Here, here he comes. He's going to stop by. He's just driving up. So that's our letter for the day. Thank you, Scott. Um, and thank you for the new vest. These are, these are really beautiful. His stuff is a little pricey, but, you know, it's, it's very well made. And I think that that is part of the reason. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to wear this to Australia. This is great. Yeah. I love it. Also, you can carry a ton of stuff through security. You know, just wrap it up in well, there and drop it yes. in the bin. That's what Scott Bourne and, uh, and yeah. my photographer friends do. I think Alex Lindsay does this, too. Because there's weight limits when you travel internationally. You can only, well, actually, anywhere. You can only have, what, 50 or 60 pounds in, in a piece of luggage. So what they do is... <laughs> they move 70 or 80 pounds into the jacket. <laughs> they fill up the pockets. There's no... Nope. You're... Yeah, your microphone just died. Hmm. Oh, Leo's mic is dead. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> now, guy, ladies he's... and gentlemen. <laughs> I will fire everybody on this stamp. I want all of His you out of here now. now. I don't know how this thing works. Will someone please help me out here? I'm laughing now, but you're all fired. You hear me? Fired, fired, fired. And that's the last time I'll ever... Wor- oh, never mind. So welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the battery yeah, the battery died on the pack. Right in the middle of the show, but that's okay because it's over. <laughs> so I said, just give me a handheld. We're done. I'm out of here. I'm wearing my Scotty vest home. Gizwiz.biz, play the what the heck is it? Well, let's look at it this week, uh, because it's uh, it's like a fire hydrant or something. Yeah, and we're getting, we're now in October, so if you want to come to the meetup, it's also Gizwiz.biz, click on log and blog. We have 20 people so far uh, coming to the meetup. Sunday, October 21st. We can get more people out there. It's at the beautiful Boathouse, 2 to 4 p.m. Yeah, Boat Cafe. A great place. Dick did this last year, and it was really, really fun. So and the year before. This is the third. Wow. The third. Count them. Find out more at gizwiz.biz while you're there. Click the what the heck is it link. There it is. The plastic fire hydrant. <laughs> whatever, whatever that is. It, by the way, you don't have to get it right. Just cute. 12 mad magazines yeah. for the right answer. 24 autographed by Dickie D for the best cute silly answer. And you'll get the... Uh, November, December issue of Mad. We don't know what that is yet. Oh, uh, soon. Well, we will soon. Soon. We're getting <laughs> close. Soon. Yeah. Yep. By next week. Dickie D, what pleasure this has been. What fun. Oh, this f- is great fun. This is just absolutely I love this show. the best time of the week for I me. I want you to all to go to strawpoll.me slash 3992 and vote for the next crap I should get from Sky Mall or not. Actually, the ostrich pillow is not from Sky Mall. It's winning, but not by uh, so much that with no, the pugs it's, shoes. Yeah, it's not a landslide dunk. Thing. Yeah. I kind of stacked this poll, I think, a little bit. Strawpoll.me slash 3992. Do you want the ostrich is? pillow, pug shoes for dogs, or the salt shaker? <laughs> what's, what's rigged about that? Nothing. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dickie D, always a pleasure. Don't forget, he does the Giz Fizz after the radio show every Saturday afternoon, about 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 2200 UTC. For ch- it's not a show, really. It's just Dick. You talk. Yeah, we just <clears throat> talk with the chat room. Yeah, we have fun. And you and I love it when you interview people in the chat room. Uh, you had my old friend uh, Jim on the other day. <laughs> I call Jim, him Jim. Otherwise known as Mike. His yeah. name is Mike. Yeah, I call him Jim. Yeah. No, fascinating person. It's really great to meet the, you know, the faces behind the names. It's great. Jim has been a fan for, and his wife has been a fan for a long, long time. Uh, who thinks so highly of you. I tried to talk him out of it. I couldn't. You see? You see? <laughs> All right, Dickie D, thank you so much. Thanks to Jason Howell, our crack producer. You betcha. Who runs this show like clockwork. Any mistakes, errors, or failures are mine alone. Mm-hmm. 
Thank you, Dick. Thank you, everybody. Wow. We, we do this show. We do this show. <laughs> 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. He really knows how to read a cue card, I'll <laughs> tell you that. <laughs> said it right there. 2000 UTC. <laughs> Screw you, Miami. No, wait a minute. That's wrong. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on The Gizwiz. Bye, Bye. Dickie.